We are well into severe weather season, and we often talk about having a plan in place in the event of an emergency. But what happens if you're in a museum or activity center during a tornado? I went to the Jones Center in Springdale to find out in this week's You Ask, We Investigate report. <laughs> The sounding of tornado siren signals a severe weather threat. It's important to always take sirens seriously. If your best option during bad weather is to shelter in place, but we are certainly here. Uh, if somebody's uh, in the building, we're here for them. Ed Clifford is the president and CEO of the Jones Center. He says there is a plan for when conditions become dangerous. We direct everyone off of the first floor because there's way too much glass in, in every section of the first floor. And we direct them down to this area that you see behind me because it's really the only area that's safe. And no matter where you're at, having a plan is critical. Knowing where you're going to go, um, especially in your home, if you don't have a storm shelter, what's your best avenue? Springdale Fire Chief Mike Irwin says there are no public shelters in the city. That's kind of an old um, process that happened years ago. I know when I was a kid, everybody had storm shelters that you went to whenever there was a significant storm. But we learned over time that that's probably not the best avenue to put people in. And if you do not have a storm shelter in your home. Your lowest level of your home that you can get to, um, an interior room, typically a bathroom, um, utility room that's in the center of the home, not against the outside walls, is the best place to go. Meanwhile, if you find yourself at the Jones Center during severe weather, know there is a plan in place to keep you safe. We are certainly here. Uh, if somebody's uh, in the building, we're here for them. And if we don't want them to leave. We want them to be right here in this, this hallway and be safe. I also reached out to other popular places in the area about their severe weather plan. Should a tornado happen during operating hours at the Scott Family and Museum, officials say visitors and workers would remain inside the building in designated areas. People cycling, playing, or walking on museum grounds are welcome to come inside for shelter. There's also a plan in place at Crystal Bridges. During the threat of severe weather, officials tell us they will move all people and staff to lower floors and the interior of the building where concrete walls offer protection. They encourage anyone nearby, including those on the museum's trails, to come inside for shelter. If there's something in your community that you want to know more about, we want to investigate it. Send your questions to me at the email address on your screen or on social media, and watch KNWA every Wednesday to see my You Ask, We Investigate report.